Hello, this is Scott F. Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. I'm here to show you how to restore our ASUS CG5275 to factory settings. You're going to need the disk that came with your system. If you don't have it, you're going to have to get you have to get a new copy of Windows or get a uh, new copy of ASUS. The disk is basically as we'll say it looked like this particularly. And I'll make sure there's a picture of it up, up here. It's going to be the, the ASUS disk for this computer particularly. You're going to have to have this disk to do the factory reset. There is no factory recovery on this ASUS computer. I'll let you guys know. Okay. Uh, make sure you back up all your files and pictures and everything else out of your computer before you do this method. If you can, you know, it, it just will erase all your information on the computer itself. Okay, go ahead and insert the CD in the ROM on your computer. Okay, you're going to go ahead and you have to shut down the, uh, basically shut down or restart the computer on this case. Um, if you know your BIOS, hopefully your BIOS settings are set to the uh, CD-ROM to boot first. Okay, go ahead and hit restart or shut down, your choice. But you gotta turn the computer right back on right after the fact if you turn it off. Okay. Soon enough, I'll come here and press any key to start from the DVD or CD ROM. You wanna do that when it pops up. Go ahead and hit it. Let it load. As I said, if it didn't come up like that, it says press any key to boot the CD, then your BIOS settings are off. You have to change your boot uh, sequence for make sure your CD-ROM boots first. I'll include that in the end of this video to show you just in case that happens if you run into that situation. Okay, at this point, at this menu, you want, okay, basically you want to go basically recover system entire HD right here. You want to select that. It says this will re repartition the first hard disk where all data will be lost. Are you sure you want to do this? As I said, this will wipe all information on your hard drive like pictures, documents, and music. Make sure you back them all up before you do this. Okay, click yes. Then you want to click next. And you want to accept the agreement, of course. Click that, then click next. Basically, this tells us what's going to happen. It will recover the system and destination disk partition. It will format the whole entire hard drive to its full entirety of the drive. Okay, and click yes. If you want to recover now, just click yes. And let it do its thing. Basically, this is asking me to have a recovery disk was made for this computer. There was no recovery disk made, so I'm going to hit cancel. Okay, just basically if I was back to the previous computer, you could do it that way if you wanted to. But it's going to go ahead and reboot. Let the CD go back in its tray. Don't touch CD, let it, just let it boot normally. Don't press any key or anything, just let it, let it be. 
I don't have to do anything at this point to get to finally to get the windows installed. So overall, you know, the, the, the driver is not provided is the Intel chipset, basically the video and the chipset driver for this computer. You're going to have to download the automatic detect uh, driver detection software, which well, I will provide in the details in the bottom below this video, a link to it. All you do is download and install it on a computer, and we'll install your drivers for you. Okay, at this point right here, you need to select the language you use. Basically, um, I'm English, I have to use English. Very bottom the list there. And after that, you have to select your language, click Next. Um, again, select your region or your currency and everything right here. Again, or just leave it default and click Next. And pick, use whatever name you want to use. Go ahead and put Enter it here. And click next after you're done. Uh, you don't have to put a password if you want to. Go ahead, click next. Basically, accept the user agreement, license term, basically, and click next. Go ahead to recommended settings, select that. Select your time zone, or your time zone will be off. So, on my time zone is Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you got the right time zone. After you choose your time zone, click Next. Select uh, Home Networking. If you're on your home network. If it don't pop up, that means you don't have your Ethernet hooked up or anything. It's all about this. If you're file sharing on other computers, you know your password for your home group, go ahead and enter it here. If not, just click Skip. Okay, that's basically how you do a factory reset for this ASUS CG5275. If any, anybody don't have the disc that is required for the for this ASUS, I'll be more than willing to send you a copy for this one for uh, ten dollars. Basically, it. If this is re definitely required for this to be, I'll send you a copy of it. Won't be exact, but it will work for the ASUS. But I'll send you exact copy. It'll be a burned copy. If you put $10 in my PayPal account, I'll ship it off to you with your address. Okay, basically I want to show you on uh, one point. If you come to the point where you can't boot from the disk itself, um, I'll show you how to get into BIOS here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart the computer. Okay. When it first comes up, the ASUS screen, when it first comes up, um, you want to... Uh, Tap the delete key on your keyboard. As soon as the ASUS comes up. Like that, just tap delete. This will take you to the BIOS. If I tap into it, it takes you to it. Let's go ahead and enter, there's no password. Okay. You can see the top menu here, like it uh, has main, advanced, power, boot, all that stuff. You can't use the mouse or anything. This is strictly only keyboard use only. Uh, do not mess too much with BIOS if you don't know what you're doing because you can screw up your computer. But to go to the boot, from, make sure you boot from your ROM first. You want to go with your keyboard with the arrows, go to the right to boot. 
Then you want to go down to boot device prior, uh, priority. Okay, it's right there. And you go to the like, first and second and third boot device. The first boot device, you want to make sure you're like, it's, it'll say CD-ROM or DVD-ROM or something like that right there. You want to make sure you select that drive for the first boot device. Okay. And you want it for your second boot device, your hard drive or removable device. I recommend your hard drive. It will say SATA or whatever brand of hard drive you have in there. It would be Hitachi, Sam, uh, Samsung, or um, Western Digital, or Seagate or something like that. If you haven't changed the hard drive. Normally, this one came with Hitachi. As you see right there, just select that. And after that, if you're done, press Escape on your keyboard. Then you want to go all the way to Exit with your keyboard. Go right. And you want to exit and save changes. And after you do that, just cut to enter on your keyboard and hit OK. And let it boot. And when it comes up, when you press any key at that point from there, it will come up and just hit the enter key or whatever key on your keyboard, it will boot from the disk. Okay. Um, if any questions, please leave comments below. And if this find this video helpful, please like the video and uh, share it up to friends if they need help with it.